Hey guys, if you learn anything new from this video, then make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Let's go ahead and get started. The secret tape seems to appear out of nowhere after we type in the code LAMB. And Amanda was very upset at us when we did that, so she did not give us those tapes. I believe that an entity that's opposing the monster is giving us this tape to send us some kind of hidden message. You're right! The treasure map said the woods! Let's go! I think we're close to the treasure now. Aren't you excited, Wooly? With the whole vibe of Amanda turning super creepy, attacking Wooly at the butchers, and Amanda not wanting this tape to be seen, it's unlikely that this tape happens right after episode 2 at the butchers, because Amanda's vibe did a complete flip and turned nice and friendly again, with Wooly no longer being terrified. Ted, aren't you excited? Huh? Amanda here lets out her demon voice very early on, which she never did until transforming at the end in our original tapes. So this is a sign that in this version of tapes, the demon had always possessed the Amanda character from the start instead of only halfway through. Oh, yeah, right. Um, yeah, but we still don't know where the treasure is, uh, buried. This Wooly also behaves very differently from our original Wooly. Never has Wooly been so deep in thought that he would ignore Amanda like that. He's probably thinking of if and when he should expose Amanda, which we already knows he does very soon. And the fact that his voice is completely different from our original Wooly makes me believe that he is a completely different Wooly. Probably the one whose name is spelled with an IE instead of Y that we saw typed in the patch 1.1 secret tape. Our friend the GPS said that X marks the spot. Can you see where the X is? X marks the spot. We're looking for the X, right? When we get the answers wrong here, Amanda puts trees over the lumps of dirt that are incorrect, which she has never done before. She always just made them disappear, like the house, the swing, the ice cream shop, and the playgrounds. This points to those lumps of dirt being real and something Amanda doesn't want us to look under. And knowing that she kills her victims at the end of the tapes, it's likely that she hides the dead bodies under those lumps of dirt. Looks like the spot. The spot Amanda is talking about suddenly turns to an area from real life rather than a cartoon. This indicates that they went to an area that actually exists in real life. And the only location we have from the game that's in real life is this one that was shown in the patch 1.2 secret tape. It's also very interesting to note that if I zoom out just a little bit, to the right of this place is Hamilton, Ontario, which is where James Pratt lives according to his Twitter account, so he could go here very easily. But how are we supposed to get at it under all the dirt? Bah! Luckily, I brought some tools to help us with our adventure. I brought a crowbar, a rope, and a shovel. We already used the crowbar for the door. We used the rope for- And now, we only have the shovel. What tool should we use to dig up the treasure? When she says crowbar for the door, it probably means to break a door to a place since there's not much other ways to use a crowbar on a door. And the rope is tied to a noose at the end which can be used to kill people. And considering that this Amanda is already fully possessed based on the earlier demon voice, it's likely that Amanda killed someone with it and now wants to dig up a hole to hide the body in. I didn't bring that. What can we use to dig up the treasure? The only tool we haven't used yet now there's just this one weird thing that I want to point out. In the background, there's a very dark trees that will instantly appear and disappear all over the place, seemingly at random. I counted them up and it happened 7 times in total. Since they just got to this location, it probably means nothing. 
but it's worth pointing out is the shovel with that said the only tool we would need is the shovel you're right now we can dig this up before someone okay. it seems that amanda is afraid of someone finding out what they're doing when she says before someone indicating that what they're doing is illegal which makes sense with the theories of her killing and burying her victims here someone okay that's enough bah. no i i can't let you do this anymore i don't care what you do to me you take the tape out now and destroy them burn them whatever just get rid of these other tapes do you hear me you can't let anyone else watch these anyone oh, oh. Ah. so that epic gamer moment from wooly was very straightforward and forced amanda to show us her unsightly true self which makes me believe that this can't happen right before episode 2 either because amanda has already been exposed so this tape takes place way before our original set of tapes <laughs> Now, we don't see Amanda and Wooly anymore, but a real place indicating that this is not part of the show, but combined into the tapes anyways, likely by the past Wooly as part of the message that he's trying to send to us. That laugh-like sound that made the man look back was probably the demon following the man since we know that it can jump into reality when certain conditions are met. The man attempting to burn the tapes means this happens after someone had seen Wooly's warning to destroy it and is trying to follow his warning right now. After the second failed attempt, we're forced to type in watch, showing that the monster, who is likely following the man, used its powers to mess with his brains, making it hard to light the tapes on fire, and ultimately stopped him from doing so, and instead takes the tape back with him, likely to watch it when he gets home. Hello? Yeah, hey, um, yeah, no, I found it. Yeah, I found the place. It was just, uh... It's just off the highway. Yeah, not too far. I, it wasn't that hard. Um, yeah, no, they're all... Hold on, what? Was I... Was I followed? No, I... No, I don't think so. Who would... Who would be following me? No, nobody... Nobody was there. It was just me. Um, yeah, no, the, the tapes are all destroyed, too. They're, they're gone. Every single one. This possessed man who lies about burning the tapes is the lead developer, James Pratt himself. You can clearly tell after comparing it to him talking to his friend on Twitch here. Okay, yeah, I re would recommend playing again. Okay. Um, 
but this is this is the developer speaking right now. Uh, <laughs> and James Pratt is credited as being the voice actor for Wooly, spelled with a Y, which is our original Wooly. So it's likely that this possessed man will go on to watch the tape and then have his soul trapped in the show as the Wooly that we know in the current tapes. Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah, no problem, means that he was doing this as a favor to the person on the other side of the phone, probably because the other person was too afraid to do it themselves and ask a clueless friend to do it for them. Um, listen, it, it, it's getting late, I, uh, I really need to get home, uh, I got work tomorrow, so I'll, uh, I'll call you when I get back home, okay? Okay, have a good night. I'll, uh, talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Now here's another secret weird thing. When the tape ends, a bunch of images flash by and two of them are noteworthy. One is the same image of the woman from the TV in the room. And another one is this, which if you turn the brightness and contrast up, you can make out the word stop, which is very in line with this story. We aren't shown what happens after he gets home, but with all the information so far, here's what I think happened. The man goes home, watches the tapes, and gets to the part where a true Amanda enters his house. Then it kills the man and his sister, taking their souls and turning them into Amanda and Wooly. Why am I suddenly talking about a sister though? Because the painting on the wall is actually titled Family Photo and there's four versions of it in the game files. Two out of the three cartoony pictures have the faces crossed out indicating that they're dead. One of the pictures show them as realistic children, likely them in real life. The girl's clothing in the real one is a blue shirt and white pants and turns into orange shirt and blue pants, exactly the same colors as Amanda's clothing. While the boy also has some resemblance to Wooly, being that his sweater is fluffy and his hair curly, things that you can describe Wooly's wool as. The motivation to do this is actually very simple. The monster does not make a very convincing Amanda. The past Wooly found out its identity way too early on and exposed it soon after. So instead, the monster made it so that the two siblings who are brainwashed into thinking that they're the actual characters in the show would be a better start since they'll be more believable to the viewer as well as each other. But the monster still has to take over Amanda to use its full powers. So it does it after getting our trust at the butchers where the screen paused for a few seconds and Wooly will then once again find out. So the monster planned to get rid of Wooly at the butchers all along before he manages to warn the viewer. But that's when Wooly from the past, who somehow survived and lives in the tapes now, gives us the secret tape to watch after we type in lamb. So now we know not to watch the tapes nor try to destroy it. But it seems that handling the tapes is safe as long as you don't intend to destroy it. So perhaps just lock it away. The key though is that if we don't watch the tapes anymore, the monster can't do anything. It can't finish transforming to kill our current Wooly, like it did to the past Wooly. So our Wooly soul is safe for now. That's all the theories I have for this secret tape. I hope that there's going to be more, and if there is, I'll definitely be making more. Subscribe and turn on the notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.